Hey, welcome back. Um, didn't bother recording what I was doing last night. That would have been probably kind of boring, but finished off making what logs I had into charcoal. Got a chest for myself, upgraded some of my gear to stone because I've been digging down, and this I think is kind of a neat little thing. I found iron relatively fast. I dug around it, I figured I'd at least record me mining this once the stream started again. I hardly ever find iron this quickly when I'm playing a game solo or on a server or anything like that. So uh, this is kind of noteworthy for me, and I'm, you know, rather proud of how lucky I am right now. If someone can be proud for, you know, pure sheer luck. Okay, so I've got, oh, that is nice. Eight iron ore and charcoal will smelt all eight of those at once. So I've got that going for me. And let's see what I have. Oh, got another tree. No creepers, nothing. Do I have monsters turned on? Options. Oh, no, I don't have monsters turned on. That's why. Okay. Well... There we go. Now we're on normal, and now the second night's actually going to be something where it's worthwhile for me to stay inside. You know, I was probably stuck on peaceful mode because I had been, uh, right before this, playing an adventure map called The Tourist. And the map was designed to not be played with monsters turned on. Uh, there's a lot of redstone set up in between all the walls and everything for that particular map. And, um, well, let's just say that if an Enderman spawns at the wrong location and moves the wrong block, you've got a ruined map. So I had to turn mobs off for that. I am going to go get those reeds. I have a feeling that they will be incredibly useful for me. Huzzah! always get picky when I harvest reeds. I always leave one where I found them. I don't know, I'm weird like that. And this is as good a place as any to plant them. And I saw some... Yeah, that's some clay. I'm going to need that later. Not right now. <laughs> to think I was worried that the trees might not be growing fast enough. At this rate, I'm not even going to need to put torches down to make them grow faster. My wheat seems to be growing well.
and that's hopefully all the wood that was in here, so I'm not going to have just a random chunk of leaves hanging from the sky. until my wheat form is growing properly. Should probably explain the reason why I'm building this wall here is to keep random spawning mobs from growing and appearing over here and trampling my crops. And you know, I understand you can walk over crops and it won't damage them, but you know there's plenty of them that jump, particularly spiders, and that wall's not going to help me that much against spiders. But you know it's something. iron and let's see how much that'll get me I will use that but I'm gonna hold off right now seems like a waste to lose the stone tools that I made just because I ha can make an upgrade right now I'll use those up and then switch to iron. That's not going to really hurt anything. How am I doing on time? Eh, getting close. getting a surplus of trees now. It's going to take a while to get all this one down. It's trees like this that actually make me prefer birch and even the pine trees to the regular oak just because I get kind of nitpicky about harvesting the entire tree. I don't want leaves just hanging in the air like you'll often see on various servers. Granted that means I don't get extra bonus things like apples and whatnot, but 
I get I get a lot of logs very quickly and it really helps out. All right, well, sun's going down, so I am going to um, head back to the mines, and there are things falling in the water. I'm not going to worry about them tonight. I'm going to stop the video again, and I will see you in the morning.